Hi guys, welcome back to SL Smartman YouTube channel. This is part 2 in making a platformer game in Scratch. So if you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out. Link is on the description below. So far I showed you how to code your player so it can move and jump. And in this video I'll be showing you how to code the levels and add a few spikes to make the game more interesting. So click on your level sprites and go for costumes and draw a few costumes. So I drew a few costumes and name it as 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I only do 5 costumes. You can add more costumes to make the game more interesting. And I added a few spikes to make the game hard. Now let's code it. So first let's make a variable named level for all sprites. Then click on your player. Then we see set y velocity to zero. Then we need to set level to one. And now we need to go to a minimize the screen. You will see touching color, so remove that and grab a if. So if Our X position is greater than 240, then we need to set level, sorry, change level by 1, and we need to set our X velocity and Y velocity to 0. And we need to go to So we need to go to our original position that is negative 200 and y negative 75. And then grab another if statement. So if If grab O block, so if touching color, I'll select this color of the spikes. If touching color O, Our Y position is lesser than negative 175. We need to create a block. Name it as dead animation. Click OK. Oops. We need to dead animation. And we need to go to the X and Y and we need to set our variables to zero. So now you can put this block. So now let's define the dead animation. So grab a repeat. Repeat 15. We need to change our ghost effect by 6.7. We need to wait like 
0.35 seconds and then we need to set our ghost effect to zero so now click on your levels when green flag clicked forever we need to switch costume to level so okay now let's test our project So okay now if our player goes to the end it moves to the next level and if we touch the spikes we die and go to the original position. So it worked very perfectly. So if you like this video make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to code the enemies.